Right now, the goal of the season competition for 1992, as we try to find a worthy successor to last year's winner, Roy Wegerly, who scored a wonderful individual goal for Queen's Park Rangers at Leeds to take our trophy. And this is the trophy. Now, so we've selected 20 of the best this season. The next week, we'll cut them down to the final six and ask you to select your best three in order. Well, full details of the prizes and offer are on next week's show. And all you have to do today, sit back and enjoy the top 20. The opening day of the season provided our first contender. Keep your eye on David Hurst of Sheffield Wednesday. Bit of a soft touch and Palmer able to feed Hurst who brings it onto his left foot. What a start to the season for David Hurst. And what a start for Wednesday. Mark Ward has always been an Evertonian, but he only joined his boyhood heroes at the start of this season. Ward hasn't scored many goals in his career with Oldham, West Ham and Manchester City, but they've usually been spectacular. And this effort against Arsenal in August was no exception. Our third goal is from Leeds United's young Welsh international Gary Speed against Southampton. Chapman now for Speed. Hodges made a break for him. Speed! A fantastic goal! Gary Speed with a smile all over his face. Arsenal didn't go far in the European Cup, but their victory over Austria Vienna provided great memories for Alan Smith. Merson. He's got the better of Pozenic. Flick to the outside of the boot! A terrific goal again, a hat-trick for Alan Smith. Aston Villa's Dwight York is one of the most exciting new talents to emerge in the first division. York, discovered when Villa played on tour in Trinidad and Tobago, has a typically West Indian style, off-the-cuff skill, which is almost impossible to smother. This magnificent goal against Nottingham Forest in September, typical of his talent. Chelsea's Andy Townsend is rated highly by every manager in the first division. Townsend has skill and strength, uses the ball well, and occasionally comes up with a gem of a goal, like this against Queen's Park Rangers. Who can possibly replace Gary Lineker when he's lost to the first division at the end of the season? This goal, one of so many in his farewell campaign. Lineker. Brandon Howe, that's Nietzsche, Allen on towards Gary Lineker, it's a superb goal! Oh, that's broken the ice! Ray Houghton has been a surprising source of goals this season, and this one was vintage Liverpool. Liverpool always prepared to go back if it means making more room. And again, it's a lovely build-up, Houghton with the finish, oh, it's a magnificent goal! Goal I was scored by the young player of the season, Ryan Giggs of Manchester United against West Ham. And Chelsea's coming infield and leaving room for McClare to go on. Oh, and it's Giggs! What a volley! Tottenham's Paul Allen doesn't come up with too many, certainly not too many like this one against Coventry. That's a good ball by Stewart. Allen. strike as you'll see all season. Scott Gemmell has blossomed into a top-class player in Nottingham Forest midfield, weighing in with some crucial and skillful goals. Crosby. Charles making a storming run down the right. And the first time cross to Sheringham and lifted towards Gemmell. It's a superb goal. Liverpool's Dean Saunders has had problems fitting in at Anfield, but his goal-scoring rate has been as impressive as ever. Played in for Saunders, a great chance now! A terrific goal! It's 1-1! Clayton Blackmore of Manchester United is a goal-scoring defender who doesn't believe in simple tap-ins. It's Blackmore again. Oh, he's found the range this time! Pick that out! 
Leeds United's championship challenge has been led by the goal-scoring qualities of Lee Chapman. He's had a marvellous season. Dorigo. That's good running and a fine ball. Speed. First time towards Chapman. No team in the first division can match the current form of Sheffield United once a hot tip for relegation. They've lost only three times in 18 games since the start of the year. This superb goal by Michael Lake against Southampton, typical of their flowing confidence. Paul Merson suddenly found his Arsenal place under threat when Ian Wright was signed, or so we thought. Merson's versatility enabled him to switch to a new role in Arsenal's midfield, and he's reveled in it enjoying his best season ever. Two second division players have forced their way into our next selections. First, Stuart Ripley of Middlesbrough against Peterborough. And Ripley through the middle for a change. Here goes Ripley. Could he go all the way, Luke? And Ripley checks. Oh, that is an absolutely marvellous goal from Stuart Ripley. Our Friday night favourites, Tranmere Rovers, came up with some beauties. Tony Thomas scoring the most recent against Portsmouth. An unwilling assist by their goalkeeper, Alan Knight. But what a cool finish by Thomas for goal R. Eric Cantona is an artist off the field and on it. Leeds United's Frenchman has added brain to the brawn of their title bid. Superbly demonstrated by this classic piece of skill against Chelsea. Not many players capable of scoring a goal like that. Our final choice, goal T, was scored by Newcastle's Gavin Peacock, and it's one his famous manager would have been very proud of. It's in for Peacock, trying to turn Whelan. It's a good shot. Well, a brilliant goal. Gavin Peacock. And that completes our top 20, a very difficult choice. Well, well marking him down there, Jim, it's a very difficult choice, it's isn't gonna it? It's going to be very hard, and you and I have got to judge the top six, haven't we? You can <laughs> join us, all right, pal? <laughs>